Right, and today's question is from Tolstein. He says in a spreadsheet that he's got dates and times which only, he say, contain dates, hours and minutes. And is it possible to get the exact second a document was saved and printed? Now, what Tolstein is talking about is a catalogue of files in Excel, which he's done using the Filecats Professional. So if I just do that now on my computer, it creates a catalogue of the files which were contained in Windows Explorer and now in Microsoft Excel. And he's saying that his problem is that they contain the date, the hours and the minutes, but not the exact seconds. Well, that's all to do with the formatting, because if they actually contained not the seconds, no seconds at all, then obviously you wouldn't be able to add the seconds in. But all that's happened is that they're currently hidden from the view. Now, the way to show seconds as well as hours, minutes and the date. So the way to change the formatting is to go into the home number dialog box and you'll see that in the format cells, a custom number format is currently there with days, months, years, hours and minutes. So all you need to do is to add a semicolon just before the two semicolons, so add a colon and then SS, two S's for seconds. And now when you click OK and expand the column width, you'll see that the seconds have now appeared as well. So if you receive data in one format but it contains more detailed format then go into format cells and number and use the custom formatting options now i should say that the custom formatting options are quite extensive for date formattings you've got dates and days depending on the number of d's you use m's is for months we'll go between one and four m's years either two or four digits, hours, or a duration. And the duration, if, for instance, 43 hours and 10 minutes isn't a time, it's a duration. So if you want to format something as a duration, you have to enclose the H's in hard brackets. You also allow certain allowable text, which you can just put in whenever you want, or if not, you can put whatever text you want in speech. And you can also use one of eight different colours. They're the primary and secondary colours plus black and white. So any of that plus the standard number formatting with zeros, the hash or pound sign, full stop comma, question mark and the fractions are all allowed within the number formatting. So going back into the number formatting, let's say we wanted to change this so that it didn't have any of the commas and had two decimal places well we can do that by going into the custom formatting take out the comma and add dot zero zero so i hope this is of help for you this is custom number formatting will allow you to see extra detail that may have been hidden if you like this video could you please subscribe to the channel and i'll see you on the next video